Hello, my friends, and welcome to day number 30, three zero of 66 days of data with NIME. Unfortunately, we once again had a little bit of a delay because of some network issues I had here at home. So we're going to do two videos today, two videos tomorrow, so to keep up the pace. And today we're going to talk about the wonderful color manager in NIME, and we're going to create a quote-unquote colored the interactive table together at our uh, out of our top 20 list we did in the last video. Oh, and by the way, if you not have yet done it, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like because that helps me to create more videos like this to stay motivated and it helps the algorithm to suggest these videos to more people so say they can get from zero to hero with Naim and get rid of redundant and repetitive extra tasks. So I would say we switch over to the screen, shall we? So let's just go over here. Here is our trusted good blog post site on the Naim blog, data exploration in 66 days of data with Naim. And we are in section number six, plots and charts, univariate analysis. So let's just go here. So basically, oh, <laughs> Yeah, basically we are here. We talked in the last video a little bit why some things in creating dashboards and visualizations are not very good practice. So I ranted a little bit about 3D charts and this kind of shit. So in this uh, video, we are going to talk about, um, what are we going to talk about? We should put the top K most prolific artists in an interactive table view, color rows by artists. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's just head over to NIME. Here we are in NIME, and if you remember here, this is our top 20s list, right? We have our um, top 20 um, artists here, and we have them basically by the number of tracks. So the top 20 artists in regards to the number of tracks and what the task of today is. We should give each, um, no, here, each artist a specific color. And I'll show that to you in a moment. We do this by the wonderful color node, color manager node, and then we create a table view. So let me just show you how it's done. So we have our top K selector here and we might search for the color manager. Here we have it in view, views, property, color manager, and we drag and drop it over here and there's a data table as an input point. So this is where our top K selector, our top 20 table goes in. And if we just open this up, just have a look. Here are the different colors for the different um, artists. So a wonderful band like Queen has a deep blue. I guess I would call this royal blue. So that's probably the right color. And you can basically select here which column should drive um, the colors, right? Should it be the number of tracks? Well, that would be like a red-blue scale where red is one and blue is the max. Probably not. So you see that NIME suggests different color modes depending on what input data and what input data type you feed into this node. So if we look at the popularity, same here, um, a gradient from red to blue from zero to 95. Let's see what they do for um, dates. Well, that's kind of tricky. That wouldn't probably work, but let's just stick to what we need to do. So we have the artist name here and we could, for example, also go custom here and then we could select a specific color for these artists. But we won't do this now. We just use the set one color palette and we see the color is here. I see one thing, Frederic Chopin is somehow mispronounced. So hmm, I'm not 100% sure if I should correct this or not because we might do more stuff. We're only halfway through on our journey in 66 days of data with time. So I'm not 100% sure if we should do that. So we maybe for the time being just leave it as it is. So let's just do this um, and label it, assign colors to artist 
circle. That is the column. All right, let's just execute and see what we got. If we look at the table with colors, we see basically colors here, but that, that doesn't say much, right? And that's only half of the task we need to do today. So let's have a look at the second part. Uh, an interactive table view, color rows by artists. So let's do an interactive table view. Table view, there it is. Probably add this here. And let's just execute an open view so that we can see how it looks. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good, right? We have exactly the colors we assigned. If we just look at the wonderful band of Queen, they have this wonderful dark blue. If you compare this also to the table with colors, you see exactly the same colors here, probably. Yeah, do you just see it? If we go here, page one, we have the yellow for Lata Mangeshka, we have the light purple for Johann Sebastian Bach, we have the dark purple for Francisco Canaro, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart is kind of orange and this kind of stuff. So, yeah, that works. So, um, let's just say interactive table for artist. Let's just quickly go into the configuration of the table view. Um, I guess we want to keep, I'm not sure. One thing I probably want to do because it looks a little bit disturbing for me, let's just uncheck display row keys like this and execute and open views again. That looks better. That looks much better because before with the row keys, we just had these, from the 300 something thousand, the row keys uh, in there. And this now looks much better. We just see Johann Sebastian Bach as light purple, Ludwig van Beethoven is this dark green, um, P. Sushila is that purple and so on and so forth. So that looks much better. This by itself, however, does not make a lot of sense. So let's just give an outlook to the second video that we're going to do later today. In day 31, we're going to build a so-called composite view that for all selected rows in the table shows the artist detail, name, number of tracks, popularity, and period of activity from two in a tile view on the right. So that is our first part of dashboard. What we will have there is basically when we have a left-hand side, we might have our table. On the right-hand side, we have tiles. And if we select Frank Sinatra, we'll see Frank Sinatra, release date first, release date latest, um, popularity, number of tracks. Same for Queen, same for all the other artists. Each one having their own tile. That is quite neat, I guess. So if you subscribe to the channel, I will publish this video later on Today, I will do a second live stream to keep up with my network problems. Until then, see you in 66 days of data with Naim. See you later and take care. Bye-bye.